Well, I'm joined, Robert Smith, joined by Robert Smith, the Secretary of the Boxing Board of Control, the General Secretary, to give him his full title. Um, it's been a busy week, Rob, what with uh, events up in Glasgow last weekend. Josh Taylor, Jack Catchell, it's probably taken a lot of your time this week. Yes, it has. Um, but also, we've still got other shows taking place. We've got nine shows this weekend. I think we had nine shows last weekend. So... Um, we're busy all over the place, but yes, that has taken up the vast majority of my time, which is disappointing, but that's how it is, unfortunately. Um, just to recap, of course, uh, split decision uh, defeat for Jack Catterall, who, you know, to universal consternation, most people thought he won the fight. Um, uh, and the three judges scored it 113-112. Uh, that was Howard Foster for Catrell, 113-112 and 114-111 for Josh Taylor, the home fighter, if you like, uh, in his home arena in, arena in the Hydro in Glasgow. Um, Victor Lothlin, 113-112. Ian John Lewis, 114-111. I've looked over the scorecards. They agreed on 10 of the 12 rounds, peculiarly as well. Um, I spoke to you on the Sunday and you said, you know, when you were watching it, you thought Catterall pipped it, uh, might have won by a round or two, that it was a kind of close, scrappy fight and that you would be looking into the judges' scores. Um, I mean, have you had the reports in already? Yeah, we've had the reports in and we have a meeting next week where they'll be considered. Um, there's no need, to, my decision not to, no need to do it, but that quickly because none of the none of the individuals are working in the meantime so uh, we've got the reports in i've seen the fight i saw obviously saw the fight the night and as we discussed on the sunday i thought catcher won it by a couple of rounds since then i've seen the fight um, on television a couple of times i still think it was a, a, a close fight um the, you know bearing in mind what other people have said i think it was a scrappy close fight um i think catcher i still feel the feel that catcher nicked it but I don't think it was a wide decision. I don't think it was that bad a decision, but I'm very surprised with regard to the outrage that we have, and uh, we'll have to deal with that. But we will make sure we do the right thing. Uh, we won't be pushed into things, we'll have to do the right thing. Is it an investigation or an inquiry? Can I ask that? It's really, it's a, it's a really just to look at how they scored the contest. You can call it an inquiry, call it an investigation, whatever you want to call it. Um, let's say we've got the reports, I uh, want to see how they came to their decision, what they were looking for, how they deemed the fight went. As I say, I, I thought Josh did all the forcing and Jack did the better boxing for sure. But um, there was a lot of holding. There was a lot of infringements. So I thought the referee did a decent job in a difficult situation. So you've got to take that on board. Um, but, you know, it was, I think it was a difficult fight, the fight to score. Um, I have watched it on television with commentary and I have watched it without commentary. Um, and uh, I have my own opinions with regard to the commentary. I do believe that people are influenced by commentary. You and I have spoken that on numerous occasions. Mm. Um, however, my my feeling is still that Jack won the bout, just, just about won the bout. So it's interesting. I'm not the person who makes the decision. I'm just being honest. And I actually just, it'd be interesting to see how the officials have come to that. I have no problem with Howard and Victor's scores, to be honest with you, because... They were one, one of each, or to the other way around. Uh, I just was quite surprised with regard to the wideness of Ian's. Do you think, when you look back on it, that them scoring rounds two and three for Taylor, all three of them, was a bit of a surprise or not? No, I don't. I, I thought Taylor nicked two and three, personally. So uh, mm. I was on the side of the... On the I, yeah. No, I, I thought Taylor nicked two and three, personally. I thought he started reasonably well. I know Jack was boxing very well. Um, Jack come on to it and then let it slip a little bit, I felt, um, just as a person, a punter watching the fight. Um, and Josh came on strong at the end. Um, but, you know, you can argue all day how people see it. You know, me and you can sit next to each other watch, watching the ground. We've done it many occasions. We've talked about this, about this so many times. You and I can sit next to each other and see a completely different fight. And, uh, that's how it is. You get a gut feeling who's won and go home and watch it again. And it's a completely different contest. So, uh, and, and I've heard you say that uh, when you go back and look at your scorecards, it's a different fight than you thought. So it's not, e it's not an easy one. It's a very difficult one. You have to hold your hands up in that situation. Like I said to you, and I'll come not clean about it, but sometimes <coughs> you're watching the generality of the fight. You're scoring round by round. 
you're not totting it up as you go along. And obviously the judges don't see their, their, their cards go at the end of every round, don't they? They don't see their scores. And over the generality, I thought someone's won, but when I totted up, the other guy is won by a round on my card. Yeah, it definitely true. does happen. And it sounds anomalous, doesn't it? Unless you actually do it enough times. Well, I think that's very important. You've got to do it enough times. Um, mm. the, only, the only thing that's slightly different, the world is different now than it was when you and I started watching boxing or brought up in, certainly when I started being involved in boxing, an instant reaction now is a, is a big factor. And that influences other people. And uh, we've discussed it, as I say, on numerous occasions. Gareth, we're talking on, on a regular basis. And it's disappointing sometimes that somebody will pick up on something, then suddenly it's an event, you know, mm. it goes through the whole chain. And that's not quite the right, right way to do it. But I, I respect everybody's opinions. Um, but on this occasion, I still believe after watching it three times, and I will watch it again before next week, um, I still believe it was a close fight. Um, rather like the football uh, with the VAR, they got the penalty wrong, Man City game. Um, you know, they got it wrong, they can't change it. They said afterwards, we got it wrong. Are you able to say, uh, even after speaking to your judges, you know what, I think we got it wrong. Maybe we have to look to improve the system or bring our judges up on a new kind of program for now or um, kind of framing it slightly different because every time this happens yeah, that what you're being pinned what's being pinned on you then is and you'll have seen it several times this week is ah, nothing will change board won't do anything about it is there anything you can do about it well there's a number of things we can do about it but first of all we have to go through due process so let's let's listen to what the individual's got to say and how, how they found that fight um, mapped itself out. I think the, the thing that was apparent to me uh, is that when Jack won a round, he won it. He won it quite clearly. When Josh won a round, he just got it. Mm. And I think people have that in their heads that because of that. So, so therefore, is the system wrong? We've, we've discussed this on numerous occasions and, and that's a major change in the sport not just in great britain but in the whole world of how you how you deem it's a 10 9 10 8 10 7 or whatever that would be a major change but i think that's where possibly is something to look at and we have looked at it in the past and maybe we have to look at it again um, and maybe we have to speak to other commissions and whether regard to it but i think as i say i think when jack won around he won it clearly when josh won around he didn't win it clearly um, and therefore, I think that is also something that other people pick up on. But it's still, it's a 10-9 to 10-9. You still win a round, don't you? Yeah. It's interesting you say that, though, maybe going to a 10-9, 10-8, 10-7 rounds, you know. Um, but that could bring its own complexity in a fight of a completely different hue and nature as well. It's, it's where, not, uh, you know, so one guy could dominate it's... four rounds and go 10-7 and ends up winning the fight when he's lost the other nine rounds. Or what? Do you know yes. it, there's, there's, it's a can of worms or whatever you do. Yeah. Uh, and I, I can honestly say to you, I don't know. After all these years in the sport, and I'm fairly sure that there's a people who've been in the sport as long as I have, who don't know a better system. And it's all very well criticising the system. But please, you know, and I've listened to a lot of stuff this week, and I've been accused of this and been accused of that. And the, my organisation I work for have been accused of being corrupt or whatever. If you've got a better system, come up with it and we'll consider it. But at the moment, in all the, in my years in the sport, I can't think of a better system. Can you just tell us then, I know you've been asked all week, categorically, that, that you're not investigating that there may have been corruption here then? I've told, I've been through this many, many times. I do not believe in this country there's anything corrupt with regard to the officials, not at all. And I've also said that although my children don't box and have no wish to box. Those officials, I'd have no problem whatsoever looking after their health and safety in a boxing ring or looking after their wel welfare. That's the most highest praise I can give anybody. The biggest loser in all of this is Jack Catterall in, in, in so many ways, isn't it? Um, Josh Taylor put out this week, you know, meet me at 147. They obviously fought at 140. Um, to most of us, and I hope Jack's listening, 
even though it's probably no consolation right now, a rematch with Josh Taylor would do enormous numbers now, as these kind of things often do when there's controversy. Um, you know, speaking with your boxing board hat on, but also as a boxing man, might make sense for him, Robert, to take the rematch, even though probably at the moment he's crestfallen. I think at the moment he doesn't want to consider it. I think boxing is the last thing he wants to consider. I do feel sorry for both of them, to be fair, um, because Jack, obviously, the, the, the majority of the opinion in the venue or, or, or in society, etc., felt he won it. And Josh has just defended his four world championships. He got a win. Um, and he hasn't been getting any, any praise for it. So I feel I feel very sorry for both of them, which is a great shame, because we're talking about the decision and not the contest, which is always mm. a disappointment. I mean, if Jack wanted to move up, I mean, Josh, I believe, should move up. Um, uh, but Jack seems to me is a, is a proper, in the old-fashioned term, like welterweight. He, he seemed to make the weight quite easy. If they could do a deal at 143, 144, 145, then why not consider it? But that's not that's their decision. That's the manager's decision, and Jamie Moore and the trainer, etc. But um, but of course it'd be an attraction. Um, and you know we're in the sport to be to be to participate and also to make as much money as quickly as possible and get out as long as we're healthy, healthy and safe. And in the wake of it, in the aftermath, one of the most outrageous things of all is the death threats and the and the. Oh, that's just the spitefulness that's being put out there towards Josh Taylor and, and his wife, Danielle, or his girlfriend, Danielle, it's unbelievable. Well, I just find the whole, the, 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 I mean, that is disgusting. You know, that boy did nothing wrong, absolutely nothing wrong. And his partner did nothing wrong and his family did nothing wrong. You know, on a, on a lower scale, the amount of abuse that this office has received is disgusting. I don't mind people abusing me because I'm big and ugly enough to deal with it. But when you start de abusing young people in the office who's administrators, etc., that should be Ill illegal. Um, and I just find the mentality of people who do that is bizarre. Robert, I always appreciate your time. Thank you so much. And we look forward to hearing your report on it uh, when it comes out next week. Gareth, God bless you. Take care. Cheers.